presence for those online in the room so when I talk I'm talking to both of you a gentle presence of God thank you Lord just put it up thank you Jesus have your seats everyone praise God I was I was excited today I, someone on YouTube's posting and and giving me a hard time and I thought wow that's I'm just I must be out of the persecution thing it's just really good you know Jesus said leap for joy amen praise God yeah it's awesome awesome if you if you're doing something good for the Lord you'll attract attack whatever's close to Jesus will attract attack amen so we thank God so praise God God knows about you all come let's talk to you the blessing what does your t-shirt say is in me is on me <laughs> amen <laughs> what do you need from the lord um healing almost like the issues that he have as well as total restoration of what? Um, my back and um just everything inflammation pain joint pain i feel the glory of god around joshua and your friends i feel the glory just stay there what, what do you guys f feel happening I just feel God wanted to show people how much he loves them Amen. and how much he cares about them intimately in the small and the big all of that I just really feel the, the power of Jesus Christ Let's talk to you, Joshua. Just stay there, sis. The blessing's on you. Can we talk to you, Joshua? Is that all right? Yes. <laughs> well, I'm a bit drunk. <laughs> yeah, the, the glory. Praise God. So, uh, Joshua, just tell us what you do. 
Um, I'm a music producer uh, and work in TV and film and movies. That's the glory on you, Joshua. So Joshua, I, I'm in a vision. Go higher. Go higher. It's, remember Jacob's ladder went up to heaven? I'm seeing steps. Wow, that's the glory on you. <laughs> so I'm seeing heavenly steps going up towards heaven. Keep walking upwards. Keep walking upwards. Keep, see, Joshua, I've known Joshua for a while. He was baptized in fire. He almost died of COVID and uh, the Lord saved him. The doctor said he was going to die, told his wife to prepare. But God has saved him to go up higher, to go up higher. In Jesus' name, Joshua, go up higher into the glory. Forget the world. Forget the world because uh, I'm seeing the world is offering you. Do you know what I'm saying? And just say no. And just go up higher. Don't sell your soul for what the world offers you, Joshua. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That's the power of God coming on you. That's the power of Jesus Christ coming on you. Thank you, Lord. That's the power of the glory of God just enveloping you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Come on, sister. What do you need from the Lord? Sue, is it? Yes. Yeah. Deliverance for well, children and self. Yes. So why do you think you need deliverance? Um, mostly family. Just drop it down, that's all right. Just drop it down and then just leave it. That's it. Just leave it, that's it. That's the Lord delivering you, setting you free. It's the power of God delivering you, setting you free. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Can we talk to you? Yeah, come on. Praise God. So is, is this the mum? Yeah, come no, it's all right. Why are you crying? It's the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, what do you need from the Lord? Just relax. I've had a lot of problems, like with my back and stuff. Um, stress fracture, and it just keeps... So let me tell you what's wrong with you, all right? So from about the L2, you have a fracture going down. Is that right or not? I did in the past, and it just... The pain has come. So... You have a, a fracture. That's, that's the power of Jesus Christ going through your back. Now, Lord's saying something else wrong with you. What else is wrong with you? Shoulder, too. I've been having a lot of problems with that. Is it your left one? My right one. Your right one. What's wrong with it? I actually don't know. <laughs> it just hurts really bad. Um. Okay, so let's, let's all believe together. Let's all be prayers, not spectators. Amen? So let's reach out your hands and, and just pray. What's your name? Emma. Emma. Yeah, bless you, Emma. Praise God. So, Mum, that's the power of God on you. Just stay there. Reach out your hand towards your daughter. That's, that's it. That, do you feel that on your hand? Not yet. That's the power of God going through your hands. You feel that, do you? Wow, praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. So that's the power of God going down through your back. Do you feel that yet? It's the power of God. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. All right, bend over, do something. Feel it. Sorry? I feel it. Okay. When we pray for people, some people heal instantly, some people heal gradually. So we just continue to pray. Lord, we thank you for Emma. 
Emma, isn't it? Yes. Emma, Lord, we thank you for total healing of this back in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for your glory in this place. Thank you, Father. That's your mum's hand. Just laying hands on your back. Thank you, Lord. Just believe. Just relax. We'll believe for you, Emma. Oh, that's glory. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, we're going to get you just to walk in faith, okay? Just walk. Just relax and walk. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Come on back, Emma. Often people are healed as they just walk in faith. It feels good right now. It feels good. It feels good, yeah. Forget the right now. It feels good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bend down. Right down. Right down. What's happening? It's good. It's good now. <laughs> Praise God. Not, not, everyone, not everyone is healed in the first instance. Even Jesus prayed for the blind man how many times? Twice. Praise God. Loose your hold. Does she have a sheet? Just bring her sheet. Leg, knee, feet, arches, shoulder, eyes, skin, Connie. That's the power of Jesus Christ going through you, Connie. Power of Jesus Christ going. Oh, that's glory. That's glory, Connie. That's glory. Ear be healed. That's glory. Going. What do you feel, Connie? I just feel it. Oh, the power of God in me. Oh. <laughs> so she's healed. She's just enjoying the glory. <laughs> well, move those knees, do something. Tell me what's happening. It's being healed right now. <laughs> oh, the pain is going. <sighs> Command the swelling to go too. Jesus heals everything. <coughs> Amen. So just move your body. You okay? Go for a walk, do something. I'm not hurting. <laughs> You're not hurting? No. Someone say, praise the Lord. Amen. So show us Amen. your knees and everything. Amen. Hey? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I couldn't do this. I mean, like... I couldn't, I almost didn't come, and then I said, uh-uh, devil, you're not stopping me. No, I'm going to get my miracle, in Jesus' name, and it's coming home with me. It's not coming back, in Jesus' name, hallelujah. That's right, you just resist amen. the devil, That's right. amen? That's right, amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's, let's, is this your friend? Oh, come on, sister. Quickly, 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 quickly. You're all sisters, praise God. Do you like praying? Do I like praying? Yes, sir. I do. Because you understand? So there is a grace and anointing on your life to pray. Okay? Mm -hmm. I agree. So let the word of God abide in your soul, in your heart. I'm not talking just like memorizing. I'm saying... 
Let, may the Holy Spirit reveal the word in you. Uh, Scott, would you like to come and help, please? Let the word of God come by the Holy Spirit. And that word will give you faith and strength in prayer. Okay? Because the word is the power in your prayer life. Because the things that you're facing, you can't face with, let's call them natural prayer. It has to be uh, the weapon of the word against the powers that you're dealing with. All right? Yes, sir. Does that help? Yes. Amen. So, praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. All right, let's pray for you, shall we? We'll pray for both of you. Come. So, you know each other? Yeah. 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 A little bit. Yeah. All right. Praise God. Praise God. So, let's not just, let's not mess around. So, um, I'm seeing a, a spirit that causes misunderstanding. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. You understand? Yes. Misunderstanding, and the misunderstanding is stupid. That's what the spirit does, and it, it makes you, it blows everything out of proportion. So over nothing, you're thinking the worst. Yes, sir. So your, as Paul said, your battle is not against flesh and blood. She's not your problem. You're not her problem. All right? So stop thinking like this. Unite together and do spiritual warfare because this, this thing is playing havoc in your lives. All right? A prophecy to one is a prophecy to many. Okay? Does it make sense? So, um, so your problem is spiritual. It's not him. It's not her. It's not all the accusations. It's, it's something else. There's a third party. Amen. Okay? Okay? So you forgive one another? Yes, sir. Look at that. I forgive you. <laughs> I forgive you. Give each other a hug. <laughs> so you're free. You're free of the thing. What do you feel happen? It's heavy. It's just like a big hug. Like a big hug? Yes. <laughs> what did you feel happen? What do you feel happening? You just got the glory, huh? Thank you, Lord. Breakthrough, closer walk. But what the Lord saw was the marriage. Huh? What did you put on yours? Allergies. Let's say so neither of you put marriage. <laughs> but that's what you needed, huh? Yes. Huh? Yes. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Praise God. How are you? Oh, bless you, it's Elena. God bless you. I got to be in your service in Seattle. It was fabulous. So I'm checking in every time I'm available. That's the glory of God coming on you, Elena. That's the glory I of feel. God. That's the glory of God. You feel it, do you? What does that feel like? That's the power of God going through you, Elena. All those on Zoom, if you could just uh, click the reaction put you, and hand up for those only who are feeling the power of God. Fatimata, Kaaba, what do you feel happening? Unmute yourself. Oh, I'm feeling the power of God. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Be baptized hallelujah. in the Holy Spirit. And with Amen. Fire. 
Fire going through Zoom. Fire going through Zoom. Fire going through Zoom. What does that feel like, Patamata? It's all good. It's all good. Yes, strong. The power of God is strong. Powerful. Go back to gallery. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's go back to gallery view. What do you feel happening, Mari? Oh, he's present. He's present. His glory is upon me. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your love. Oh. Mari, have some more. Oh, oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh thank you. Thank From you, the Jesus. top of your head to the soles oh. of your feet. Be oh, blessed. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Erica, what's happening? It was very peaceful and it was very, very hot. It's very Super hot. hot. Very hot. You're being yeah, baptized in fire, Erica. Baptized in fire. Mm. The fire of the Holy Spirit. One is coming whose sandals oh, I'm not. Jesus. Worthy to untie, he will baptize oh. you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. fire all over you. Oh, that's glory. Erica, that's fire all over you. What do you feel happening? Oh, it's too cold now. It's cold. <laughs> it's cold. Oh. You've gone from burning it's to burning cold. It's burning and cold. What, what's that? Oh. It's burning and it's very cold. Only the Holy Spirit can make it burn and feel cold. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> that's, the, that's the joy. That's the joy. That's the joy. Lord, give it to them in the room. Give them the joy, Lord, in the room. I didn't know it was going to be camera, Mark. <laughs> I'm just touching your foot, Will. When I touch your foot, you'll feel it. <laughs> Will was healed of 50 years of 60 years of severe asthma. In and out of hospital. Now he's laughing with lungs at work. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone say, Lord, get Sarah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, hello, Isaiah. You want some too? Huh? Yes. Oh, Isaiah, this is my grandson. Lord, give it to Isaiah too, in Jesus' name. Amen. No pulling him over, mummy. <laughs> oh, ooh, that's glory, Isaiah. Wow. What does that feel like, darling? The power of God. <laughs> oh, Linda, that's the power of God on you. Praise. Oh, that's glory. Do you feel that? Wow. What does that feel like? It feels warm. Well, wow, it is Jesus. Who feels that warmth, that warmth on them? Just put your hand up. Definitely. Warmth, for sure. Oh, that's fire. Who else feels that warmth? That's, oh, that's getting hot now. It's getting, oh, that's really getting hot. What does that feel like? 
really hot. <laughs> yeah, your face is going red. <laughs> what does that feel like? Tickly. Tickly. <laughs> oh, that is hot. Hey? Yep, it's hot. <laughs> Do you feel the heat coming off her? Yes. Do yeah. you feel the heat? I just feel waves. Waves? Yes, like every time you have been around everybody, I just feel like waves, like waves. Like well, what's your name again? <laughs> Sarah. 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 <laughs> oh, that's fire, Sarah. That's fire all over you, Sarah. You're being baptized in fire. Praise God. Praise God. That's the glory of God on Zoom. On Zoom, that's the glory of God. On Zoom, praise God. <laughs> oh, stop. That's strong, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> You know, when the Holy Spirit comes on you, it can be overwhelming. <laughs> overwhelming. And when he comes deep in you, he'll start delivering you, <laughs> casting out those spirits out of you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. You're in the in between, the sandwich between the two hot spots. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Amen. I feel the light of God moving through me and it's stopping in all the places that he healed me. And it's just moving out into my hands. Jesus. Peggy had a major miracle a few years ago. Uh, she was in a car accident, many surgeries, felt the muscles growing up her back. Power of God going yes. through you, Peggy. Thank you, Father. Be filled with the Holy yes. Spirit, Peggy. Praise Jesus. the Lord. Pri oh, that's glory. That's glory. Oh, my oh Jesus. around you, Peggy. Jesus. That's strong, Peggy. Pra Jesus. Praise God. I see Jesus. angels. You, you've been Thank taken you. up in the spirit. I see angels yes. all around you, Peggy. Praise Jesus. God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. God, Praise thank God. Thank you. Jesus. Hallelujah. She was housebound with all sorts of problems, and now she's out preaching the gospel and doing Jesus. meetings and Jesus. we'll leave you God, in the glory praise God Brian tell us what happened last weekend Brian's one of our ministers and he was praying for people in New York so what was happening well we saw people a uh, young young man young boy got his spine healed it, just like instantly what was wrong with the spine he well we, it was curved and I guess that whenever he'd bend his leg would turn like he couldn't bend down and then he was healed and he could bend down and with his leg not turning and then an older lady had hearing aids and her hearing was healed and re removed her hearing aids and could hear. And um, ba another major back injury, an older man, and he was like in big time pain and he just burst out in tears when he got healed. All the pain gone. Yeah, just lots of, and some a couple deliverances where people got free. 
and manifest and then get free. Praise God, huh? Yeah. Amen. 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 Someone say hallelujah. 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 Praise God. So when, when, when you, because I, I know there are probably people here who you've come for a healing, but Jesus Christ is the God of power. If you put your finger in the wall socket, you will know that you did that. When you have an encounter with Jesus Christ, it'll change you. And very often, you'll feel it. One of the first pe persons I prayed for had severe back injury from a car accident. And the power of God came on her and she left her walking device and her hair frizzed. It, it curled. It just under the power of God and she walked so <laughs> he's amazing and you know people when they're in pain and they can be very depressed about this situation whatever the devil's been doing to them and so often you'll see joy people just I mean we, we just see people filled with joy you know people have been they'll have on their placard depression and they'll be laughing their head off and you know the father said let us make merry let us make merry when he was talking about the prodigal son coming home you know and, and God God rejoices and you can have this supernatural joy you know the Bible talks about joy and joy is not looking serious at church you know you go to church and and you're thinking about the heavy doctrines and so on. Joy is joy. It's pure happiness. And there's something special when you see someone who's suicidal, self-harming, tormented with voices, and suddenly they're free and they're full of joy and peace. It's just awesome, isn't it? Amen? Praise God. There's no one like him. So... Turn to your neighbor and say, I prophesy. Go on, say, I prophesy. Your turn is coming. Amen. Amen. Your turn is coming. Praise God. Scott, what was the problem? Uh, well, to uh, give you some background, I started playing soccer at around seven and a half or, uh, years old. I played soccer through high school and college. And usually I, on my teams, I won the uh, Most Valuable Player Award. And then in, in college, all the other teams knew my name and they had to mark me because they knew I was pretty good. At the end of my college career, I developed a heart problem. And it got to the point where I could not even climb a, a, a set of stairs without stopping uh, to take a break. And I got to the point where I couldn't even sprint 10 meters, where before I could run up and down the field for 90 minutes without a problem. Uh, I got to the point where I couldn't do hardly anything. And whenever I picked up something very heavy, uh, my heart would start to beat rapidly. And when I say it beat, beat rapidly, that would go on for six, eight, 10, 12 hours at a time when I have to sit in or lay in bed, I couldn't do anything. Uh, one time I had a doctor uh, wire me up and he was watching my heart and he said, this is very dangerous. Uh, it's not only beating quickly, it's beating irregularly. And you could be dead in half a second. Uh, so I had uh, some people from Jim pray for me. We had Jim being Jesus and Ghana Ministries, That's right. yep. That's right. So, uh, so when did that happen? Uh, that was uh, two years ago in the summer. I had uh, Veronica pray for me, and then Morena, and then I had Steve. Raise your hand. Uh, Steve prayed for me, and uh, we did it on Zoom. And I specifically asked, I thought God wanted me to have Steve pray for me. And I said, Steve, this is my issue. Would you please pray for me? And he said, uh, I think God is healing you. I think God has healed you. Go out there and just do it. Uh, so in faith, I went out and bought some cleats, some socks, some shin guards, and a ball. And I started playing soccer in the yard. I, I, I told Steve, I said, I wanted to get back and playing soccer because my son, Josiah, wanted to play, and I wanted to train him. Uh, so I got my little ball. In the very first uh, sessions, I basically just walked around the field with the ball because that's all I could do. And as I got stronger, I was able to pass the ball. And I, I noticed that when it took a longer uh, time to for my heart to start beating rapidly and then when it did 
it didn't go for 12 hours, it'd go for maybe 30 minutes, and then gradually it got a lot better. I'd say in about three to four months, it was back to perfect. And then as a testimony, about nine months after uh, the JM, uh, people prayed for me. Uh, I played in the uh, parents versus the kids game. So my, my son Josias is on a team, and then the last practice of the season is parents against the kids. And the parents won five to four, and I myself got, <laughs> just like that. Uh, I got two goals and two assists, so I was, I was all over the field back uh, like I was when I was playing in college. Praise God. So, uh, who healed you, Scott? And that was Jesus. That was Jesus. So, you want to go do, do a run, show us how the Lord's healed you? you There's no, away? yeah, we'll just get that out. You can run on this side of it. There you go. Wow. <laughs> How does that feel? Awesome. I, cu I couldn't do that two and a half years ago or you know, two, uh, two years ago in, in uh, last summer. No way I could have done that. I would have been in Your wife is laughing. Huh? <laughs> yeah. So actually, my, my son is a little irritated with me because he can't get by me and I always get around him. Sometimes when I'm dribbling, dribbling I leave him on the ground. He doesn't like it. It's Josiah? Come on. <laughs> Praise God. So, Josiah, what do you think about your dad being able to play soccer with you? It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Other than when he beats me, because that's annoying, but I'm getting better. He is getting better, yeah. You're getting better. So sometimes your dad beats you, huh? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> God bless you guys. Praise God. <laughs> is that the glory of God on you, Annette? something funny will happen and the Holy Spirit just comes and they're full of the joy. Amen. Praise God. Was there anyone who wanted to share something that God had done in the previous meeting? Yeah, come on, sir. Let's, let's hear your story. So, Jay, what's it about? Um, I was at the Salt Lake meeting. I remember you. Yes, Anxiety and stuff. Yes, sir. Panic attacks. They were so bad I couldn't leave my house without taking medication and even that it was still hard to do and then Jesus completely set me free no matter how stressful things are or they get no panic attacks no anxiety <laughs> completely free someone suffering from fear fear where are you fear terror attacks panic where are you you wake up in the night and you're Where's the person you wake up at night and you're covered in sweat? You're, you're panicking. So, Jay, you get uh, these. What happens? Uh, I start feeling dizzy and my, my extremities get stiff like I can't walk good. I, I start fearing I'm going to pass out. And, um, yeah, just bad panic attacks. For a while, I was waking up in the middle of the night a couple of times and I was just drenched in sweat and having horrible dreams. You're free. You're free. I could. <laughs> I, I just feel so much peace right now. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Praise God. I've struggled with that for so long. So you single? No. You're married? No. I have a girlfriend. You have a girlfriend. <laughs> So it's a, a prophetic question, okay? okay? Because when the Lord healed you of your anxiety, mm -hmm. he enabled you to be in relationship. Does that make sense or not? Yes, it does. Because before you, you were a worry mess. Yeah. Yeah, and, and not being able to do anything because, you know. So I'm just going to pray for you for a good, good wedding, good marriage.
You know, when God heals you, it's the beginning. When God heals you, it's the beginning. Because he gives destiny. Destiny. Praise God. Praise God, Jay. Praise God. Amen. Were you the guy who couldn't get off the floor in Salt Lake? Yes. That was me. Over a couple hours, I believe it was. You couldn't get off the floor for two hours. Yeah, I couldn't move. I tried really hard. And you told me, there's always somebody bigger than me. <laughs> and to remember that, and I, I always think about that. You want some more? Yes. Okay, so... <laughs> So, yesterday, sometimes the Lord will do something yesterday, but it's not finished. He's doing more. He's doing more to you, Jay. What's going on, Jay? <laughs> I just feel really good. I can feel the weight of the glory. Oh, it feels so good. You feel the weight of his glory. Yeah, it literally, yeah, it feels like weight. Feels so good. That's, I don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> so try to get up, Jay. Try. Try to get up. <laughs> it feels like I'm being held down to the ground. <laughs> try again. <laughs> I can't. You're a big man, Jay. But let me tell you, there's someone bigger than you, and, and he's pressing down on you. Amen. Hey? <laughs> I can feel it, for sure. Praise God. What's that? I think I'll be stuck here for a minute. <laughs> Could be more than a minute. How's it going, Jay? It's going good. <laughs> You're not going anywhere. <laughs> it feels like it's getting heavier. Amen. What's happening, Jay? <laughs> I still can't move. I thought you were going to get up in one minute. Yeah, I was planning on it, but <laughs> it didn't work out that way. Can you get off the floor now? No. <laughs> You're a big man, Jay. Yes, hey? <laughs> oh, praise God. Look, I'm really happy for you, Jay, for your new wife. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. You know, God is good. And he has, he's full of goodness. Full of goodness. Full of love. And, you know, he... He's just good. He died on the cross. Jesus died on the cross. Save you from your sins. Save you from the consequences of your sin, which is eternal death. Give you eternal life. Heal your body. All you have to do is turn to him and follow him. Amen. Um, I had a bone scan about four years ago, and it said I had osteoporosis. Uh, you came to my church in April... Uh, Where was that? Uh, Arizona, Gilbert. Oh, right, in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. And I was a little skeptical. Um, like a few others in that meeting. Well, and um, I just put bones down because I figured God knew. And um, so then I didn't want to have a scan before April when I had prayer. But two months later, I asked for a bone scan, and um, my doctor said that um, my bones, there was no osteoporosis anymore. So. Praise the Lord. I know. Praise God. So it's amazing. It's amazing. Amen. So, Jane, you know, osteoarthritis is like all through your body, all through your bones. That's a miracle. 
It is a miracle that my bones are so dense now that it reversed <laughs> within a couple... M I, I, I didn't take the medicine for the osteoporosis. I mean, I took it, but I didn't. And so and they said lift weights, and I'm thinking, I'm not that athletic, but I, you know, I didn't do any you know, heavy lifting. Um, but God healed my bones and made them strong again. Who healed you? Jesus healed me. <laughs> so, Jane, what would you say to someone who's watching or someone on, online on Zoom and they're riddled with disease, could be cancer, osteoarthritis, their, their, their fingers are going, all that sort of stuff. What would you say? Um, I just, just don't ever give up on Jesus because he's, uh, he's so faithful. He's super faithful. And, um, and um, I'm proof of that. Mm -hmm. Never give up. Never give up. Praise God. Lord, I pray that you have more for Jane. Amen. Oh, that's glory. That's glory. What's the sadness in your life? Do you have a sadness? A sadness. A relationship with my son. That's what comes to me. Lord, let him come back with love. Amen. Let him come back, Lord, with love. With a changed heart. Let him respect his mum. Watch his tongue come back with love. And all God's people said, Amen. 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 Sam, in just in one or two sentences, just give me a nutshell. Um, basically, I was having some lower stomach issues. and um, So what was the problem with it? I don't really know. I, I just, every time I ate, I was having this feeling, discomfort. Okay. Um, so I was praising the Lord and... Um, I was done, so I got on my bike, and a message came on, about a five-minute message you had, and it exactly described what was going on in my stomach, and I was instantly healed. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're watching on YouTube a prayer for the people, and the Lord healed you. Describe what you had and healed you. What I had, it was like, like to the T. So, yeah, it was amazing. So you didn't know what the problem was, and God described everything. Yeah, but you described everything. You told me ex says exactly what was going on when I ate. You know, what was it was perfect. So, you know, I just wanted to praise the Lord. God loves you, sir. All right, thank you. Someone give Jesus a clap. Talk praise God. God. Shall we talk to you? This your son. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. I have idea. That's all right. Jesus knows all about it. Okay. For autism, Emmy is lying to me, but I hear him cuss words. Hmm, I don't know. That's the glory of God on him. It's the power got on his brain. Power got on his brain. The Lord's, let's say the Lord's rewiring his brain, but that's a very human description of an indescribable divine act. That's the power of God on his brain. What's his name? Hanson. Just stay there, Hanson. Stay there. Stay there. Don't go anywhere. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everyone pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we command your brain, be whole, be whole. Hanson, be whole. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we command your brain. Your brain's moving under the power of God, Hanson. Your brain's moving under the power of God. Everyone put their heart in the mode of faith, the mode of faith, believe all things are possible to him who believes. That's the power of God in your brain, Hanson. Thank, oh, glory.
What does that feel like, Hanson? Mm. When the enemy lied to me, I see Satan's face really scary. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. That's the glory of God going through you. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Walker, uh, were you healed of something? You spoke a word of prophecy in New Jersey uh, last week. Um, I got convicted because I had something on my paper, but I felt convicted to lean in and tell you, uh, 14 years a Christian and I have no prayer life. I have no prayer life. And um, you put your hand on my heart and you said to me, He says he has no prayer life. Prayer is abiding in Jesus. So God loves you. He's your father. He's your father. Okay. God is your father. I'm looking at your earthly father. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. This is why you feel you have no prayer life. Because your father, but God is your true father. Okay. Thank you. And with that prophecy, with that prophecy, you're healed. You said to me, um, your problem with pa uh, prayer has to do with your earthly father. Do you know what do you understand? And I, I did. It just, I understood. And anyone who would have heard it would have thought it had to do with my dad being a bad father or something like that. But he was, he's quite the opposite. He's a great father, but we don't have intimacy. He's done everything right. There's just no intimacy. And the Lord quickened that to me from what you said um, in, in a moment. I, I knew exactly what you were saying from the Lord. The next morning I woke up and uh, after the first day, and I heard you say from the night before, prayer is abiding. And I went downstairs and I leaned my head against the sliding glass door and I opened the word to John 15 and I started reading and I felt the intimacy of the Father in the word of God and I wept over those pages. I wept and I wept and I wept. And I feel like I'm starting after 14 years in Christ, a new walk with the Lord. And, I, and I, I just hope I can have that intimacy. So thank you for speaking that. Praise God. And Katie, do you notice any difference in your husband? Yes. Yes, I do. The, the desire to spend time with the Lord. Amen. Amen. Walker, we praise God that you now are in relationship with the Father. And they're all clapping in the room. So God bless you. Oh, I remember you, Juliana, from last week. God bless you. What's it about? Hi. Um, I'm, I'm so grateful to be here. Thank you, Mark. Um, so, yes, I was in the New York um, meeting, and I had... Um, um, I, I was informed that I have... Uh, Do you ever get abdominal pain? Yeah. On the right-hand side? Well, more on this side, in, in my lower neck. Are you ready to be healed? Yeah. <laughs> you okay, Julie? Is it Julie? Juliana. Juliana, come on, get up. She's a rug, David. What happened? Um, it just felt like I got completely winded and knocked over. It's the power of Jesus. There's no power like it. Amen. His power not only heals the body, but when it goes through you, it instantly deals with the soul. Amen. You didn't just get a physical healing. You got a, a makeover. I had a lifetime of just stomach issues. Um, I could never really get answers for it. And, um, and then the back of my neck um, was really hurting me after I had gone to a chiropractor. 
Um, and I also had a nagging pain randomly on my hip. Um, and so you delivered me and, uh, or the Lord did, and it's gone. Praise God. Juliana? I, I was in Bradford, England, and you prayed for me. And I was uh, delivered of kind of lustful spirits. It felt like not everything came out and I thought that maybe I'm going to leave and everything's not going to be great. Um, but my testimony is that there's been, uh, yeah, that what, what victory there was that day has been maintained. Um, Praise God. So, Phil, how did these spirits of lust affect your life? We just want to shame the devil and glorify Jesus Christ. Yeah, so what was happening was that there was like a temptation um, to to sort of, it was like my brain was plotting to look at unclean things on on computers. that I wasn't actually looking at them, but I felt like my, um, it was like this plan to look at it. And so it was sort of like, uh, and I was basically saying like, if I leave it like this, then I'm going to end up doing that. Um, and I, I wanted to come down to, to get prayer for that because it felt demonic. Um, and I, I sort of uh, asked my wife if I could come. And she said, in two days, you can't come. I didn't say what the reason was. But, but then um, I thought, well, maybe I can just come for one day. Um, Phil, and I Phil, that and I, be, Phil, because of yeah. time, who set you free from the spirit of lust? Um, Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Thanks for sharing, Phil. Someone give Jesus a clap. Amen. Flynn was with us last week, and uh, tell us about last week. Flynn, just unmute yourself. There you go. It was amazing. The presence of the Lord was present to heal and so, deliver. Amen. Amen. So tell us something that you saw. <laughs> well, I saw firsthand my friend who came in walking with uh, a walker, and he walked out without the walker. God healed him. Amen. And many were, many were delivered from, from demonic possessions. I saw that. They, even without you touching them, they were being delivered and set free. It was awesome last week. And it was awesome. Praise God. We had an awesome time last night as well. So a big God bless you. We'll see you in Trinidad. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. John, tell us your story. Jesus gave me a new heart, and I felt it. Today I took a nap, and when I usually sleep in this position, my heart palpitates. And today I tested it, even though I believed and no palpitations, it just feels good. Praise God, praise God. Who, who saw John being healed last night? <laughs> praise the Lord. So John, just tell us again and, and in detail, what was wrong with your heart? 17 years ago, the day after Thanksgiving, I had a heart attack. And if you haven't had one, it's an awful, awful thing. I thought it was, that was it. But in fact, I cried out to Jesus, and that's when my symptoms started to get better, even though it took a while to heal after that. So, so tell us what was wrong with your heart, how it affected you, what the doctor said. Um, well, he said, oh, well, you got blockages, we can stent it up, and they did. Um, but it was not eating correctly. You know, I was a contractor, and I was eating fast food all the time on the road. And uh, plus, I had a lot of stress in my life. So how did your bad heart affect your lifestyle? Uh, one of my favorite pastimes is hunting for mushrooms in the woods. And I'd go way out. And uh, I couldn't do it anymore. And I was a young man. I couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't walk 100 yards without choking, basically. What do you mean, choking? Not being able to breathe. A hundred yards? Yeah, a hundred yards, uh, yes. I, w I would be exhausted. 17 years? Yes, 17 years ago, day after Thanksgiving. And what happened last night? <laughs> he, 
You tell me. <laughs> you, you tell me. It happened to you. You tell me because as soon as you touched me, I don't know if, you know, when people are slain in the spirit, <clears throat> um, it looks like you push them. But I got to tell you, as soon as you touched me, I saw a wave of power slam into my body and knock me over at 100 miles an hour. And I You've got a heart problem coming down here, someone. You've got a heart problem. Where are you? Heart problem. Where are you? Hi. What's your name? John. John. What's the problem, John? I had a heart attack 17 years ago. I've got high blood pressure, and I basically wrecked my body through... Are you ready? Yes. I need Jesus. Just relax, okay? Just relax. That's the power of God going into your heart. That's the power of Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's the spirit coming out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, be healed and delivered. Be healed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Power of God going through you, John. Power of God going through you. So heaven is working on you, John. It's John, isn't it? Heaven is working on you. Heaven is working. You're having surgery from heaven. Heaven is working on you. Heaven. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Heaven's working on your heart, John. Heaven is working on your heart. He may have a little bit of discomfort. He's getting a getting having surgery. Oh. Okay, you're all done, John. What did that feel like? Uh, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> it's just power. The power from my father. Okay, you can help him up. You want your back's healed. You can help, huh? You're fine. Now. Oh, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I, I think you'll be fine as a catcher. Hey, John. Yes. What happened? <laughs> Father, God, just coming through me. Amen. So what was the problem? How did it, how did it affect you, like, day to day? I've had pain for decades. Um, Problems walking or... Uh, yes. Sometimes Excuse I me. Off you go. Break. Off you go. You. Off you go. Go on. Off you go, John. <laughs> What's happening, John? I'm running for Jesus. Jogging for Jesus. How's your heart? It feels okay. Feels good. Keep going. Keep going. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I love you. How's your heart feel? Good. It's not beating fast. My neck hurts a little bit, but it's okay. I We're praying for your heart, you. okay? <laughs> Praise God. Problems. Praise God. So it's all hooked up. You've got a new heart. God bless you. Praise God. Praise God. So, uh, and I just, uh, it was, I had no control and I didn't even feel hitting the floor. And you, you didn't were, feel hitting the floor? No, didn't. Where were you? <laughs> Heaven. <laughs> so, when, when you were speaking to me, no disrespect, but I didn't hear anything you said. <laughs> Where were your ears? <laughs> With Jesus. So, how, how is it you couldn't hear? It, it was like I was just in a completely different realm, a, a different realm. 
And, um, you know, I, I had been praying for this and preparing for this with my wife, my lovely wife. And um, So where, where's your wife? Right there. Do you want to come? Do you want to come for a moment? What's her name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Welcome, Elizabeth. How did uh, the heart attack and the heart problem affect your husband over all those years? Yeah, he's had a lot in his life, just a lot of... He's such a good man of God, but he's been really hit hard by the enemy over the years and uh, so how did the heart affect him I, I think it's fear when you have a heart attack I think you're always worried that it's going to happen again so yeah every time you feel it every time you feel a twitch you go oh no is it 911 you know and that, that's that's hard that's hard all right let's uh Thanks, uh, Elizabeth. So let's go back to last night. Yes, so sir. you can't hear, you can't, can't hear feel you. the floor. Yeah. And you know, the, the cool thing was, was this gentleman here, he's such a powerhouse of a man, lifted me up as fast as I went down. So it was like a double whammy. <laughs> Power hit you at 100 miles an hour. You're on the floor. And what happened when you got up? Um, Did you feel anything happening in your chest? Yeah, so some people present in the front, but mine was in the back. Okay. And so when I got up, I felt it in the back, the pain. And that's what I felt, my heart being worked on from the back, the surgery. So that's where that, you know, the pain wasn't I was looking for more healing. It was just stating the fact that he was so, working on me. Yeah, so... The angels were working on you, oh, yes. and you may not understand because your mind is puny. Yeah. But God put a new heart in him and connected it all up while he was still breathing without a heart machine going to do all that. He just did it. It he was did. heavenly surgery. He did. Amen. So what's the difference now? I, I, <laughs> today I felt... Just a deep sense of peace and contentment that my father loves me. And that's all that I want, is I want his love in my life. That's and how's the heart? Awesome. Awesome. So what can you do now? Well, I'll run a marathon. You know, show us how you can run. <laughs> Off you go. He couldn't walk 100 yards. 17 years. Wow. Someone say praise the Lord. Praise God. How's that feel? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. What? Amen. Thank you, Father. I love you. Thank you so much for your healing. I worship you. I honor you. I love you. If I get a crown... I cast it to you immediately. It's all your grace and love that brings us home. Amen. If you had done that before, running, what would have happened to you? I would have choked. I would have had to sit down. That's the glory of God coming. Amen. Praise God. Have some more. Have some more. That's his presence. His wonderful presence. His love, his love for you, John. Father's love for his child, his boy. Praise God. That love is awesome, isn't it? Amen. I, I love my father. I love my... You know, the love that you get from a person is a human experience, but many people can't explain when the love of God comes. Because it's supernatural. It's it divine. Is. Yes, it is. Randy, in just one sentence, in a nutshell, just tell me what it's about. I have a torn rotator cuff. Okay. And I have not been able to raise my arm any higher than this without excruciating pain. So how, how did you tear your rotator cuff? I have no idea. How long ago? Yeah. At, at least a year, maybe slightly over. So how did it affect you? Constant pain, it wears down on my emotions, 
and just being in pain every day, all the time, it just kind of wears you down. And when I have a little guy like this to take care of, yeah. it, you know, it just makes things worse. And what happened last night? Well, it's actually been happening over the last 24 hours. Yeah. When I woke up during the night, I had my arm back like this. Wow. I have not been able to do that for a year. Wow. Praise God. When we were singing tonight, we were praising. I have not been able to praise. Show us what you can do now. Now I can do this. I can move it everywhere. There's no pain. There's no, no stopping. Wow. Wow. I don't know what to do. There's, the glory just showed up here. It just, wow. Sometimes the power of God is just overcoming. You, you feel that? Yes. There's like a glory cloud right here, Karen. <laughs> it's strong. And yourself? Praise you. <laughs> no. I think she said no. <laughs> Who wants the glory? Joy. Joy. <laughs> it's our turn. <laughs> Who feels that joy, that glory? Isn't it awesome? What's happening up here? Oh, she, she, she always gets it. She always gets it. She always gets it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. This is one of those that cover their mouth and look down. Who's <laughs> up? The glory cloud just moved, just moved. You feel that, sir? This is a blood to keep. free in Jesus mighty name be free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ a catcher in the mighty name of Jesus Christ let's grab her, her elbows in, that's right in the mighty name of Jesus Christ come out You're free. You're free. What did you feel happen? <laughs> I had a hot electricity in my body. You feel electricity all over your body. You've been set free by Jesus Christ. <laughs> Other things are coming out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, you know what I love about... Where's Sarah? Come over here, Sarah. Are you busy? Uh, one thing I love about the Lord is he'll give you a new heart, heal your arthritis, open your deaf ears, give you joy, deliver you, heal your soul. <laughs> it's all happening, isn't it? Praise God. Praise God. It's just the Lord's delivering you. 
Thank you, Father. <coughs> there we go. There you go. It's all coming out in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. I believe you're free. I believe you're free. Praise God. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know, with the power of God, um, you can, you can, how can we put it? You can get fixed on the initial work of what he's doing and then he'll suddenly go deeper. He'll suddenly go deeper and you've got to flow with him. It, it might start with joy and then suddenly the Holy Spirit, who's a person, changes what he's doing and he's delivering or he's healing and you just person might still be laughing they don't know what's going on many times they don't know what's going on praise god where were we was there anyone else who wanted to share what happened last night or in previous previous meeting sonny what's yes, tell bad. me my tell me got healed last night okay. and uh i mean i feel really good what was wrong with your back it was when i work it would just lock up on me and I'd have to sit down for like 30 minutes and they just keep doing that all the time. I've been up all day and haven't had no problems. I called my brother. I said, you know what? I want to see if they'll let me catch. I came in here tonight. I didn't have to ask. They came and asked me right when I walked in the door. <laughs> How long did you have that back problem? Been going on for a few months, a few months. What do you need from the Lord? Shall we find out later? What do you want to do? It's like the glory is going in and out, in and out, in and out. Do you feel that? Yes, sir, I do. What does it feel like? <laughs> Just the heavy presence of God. So, waves. like waves. Uh -huh. So the glory is moving in, inside you, inside your body. That's the glory of God moving, moving inside you, moving. All around you, all around you. Because your problems aren't just with you, it's all around you. The Holy Spirit's moving all around you. Understand what I'm talking about? Sir, yes sir. So the Holy Spirit's fixing your problems all around you. Someone with a fence. You know about that one? Yes sir. Who's that? <clears throat> uh, it's a, it's a um, court issue. A court issue with building a fence. Built a fence. Built a fence. And they didn't like it. But they liked it, but it's a... So anyway, uh, the Holy Spirit is moving, moving. What you feel inside you is also moving around you, around you, fixing this problem. So I believe the Holy Spirit's come upon the mind, the mind of the person. So he's changing the mind of the person. So they're, they're beginning to think differently. The beginning to think, oh, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. What's your name? Sonny. Sonny's a nice guy. I don't think I should be doing this to him. Right, he's changing, changing the situation. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay, bend over. Yes, sir. Bend over. I believe your back's all right. Tell me what's happening. Feels good. It feels great. It feels good. <laughs> Amen. Who healed you? Jesus. Jesus. So show us what you can do now. You'll see when I pick some people up or whatever. <laughs> I can do any. It's fine. Who healed you, Sonny? Jesus. Amen. The boss. Amen. The master. Amen. God bless you. Praise God. 
Um, yeah, my mother wanted me to say what happened last night. What happened last night? Um, you called me out into the hallway and I fell down. Yeah, I was super shaky and like, I, I couldn't really stop it. Like I was like, what if it's me? And I tried to relax and stop it, but it just didn't work. So I know it wasn't me. Susanna, isn't it? That's a good spot, isn't it? Right, where's the catcher gone? What's your greatest desire, Susanna? Um, I'm not really sure. I mean, it would be really nice if I, like, felt God or something. It'd be really nice if I felt God or something. Just relax, Susanna. Be filled with the glory, Susanna. Be filled, overwhelmingly overflowing glory. Glory. Wow, that is really beautiful. What does that feel like, Susanna? I don't know. I just kind of feel like crying. <laughs> Susanna, the spirit of prophecy shall come upon you. He has given you the mouth of a prophet. I see power in your words. Spirit of prophecy shall come upon you. Amen. How long were you like that shaking? Um, a while to like the end of the meeting. <laughs> What's that? Two hours or something? Uh, well, like it's well, it was from when you first talk to me like when I fell down till the end of the meeting and I'm not sure how long that was but it was however long that was awesome praise God oh yeah yeah so afterwards Ashley uh, I think she's one of the prayer helpers came up to me and asked if I was like timid or shy sometimes and I was like yeah because I was shy in the moment so I didn't say exactly how uh, to what extent that was and so she prayed for me, and yeah, she said exactly the right things, and then she asked if I like drawing, which is, that's like one of my favorite things to do, so that was really cool. Someone give Jesus a clap. <laughs> Amen. Judith, Amen. you were delivered. When were you delivered? Uh, at uh, Bradford. Uh, this year? Uh, Yes, in UK, uh, you came for a meeting. So, Judith, just tell me, uh, how did this demon affect your life? I used to hear a bird every time I went out of the house, and the sound was very intimidating. And this bird was everywhere I went. It was like to following me and tormenting me. So uh, you just said, um, can I pray for you? I see a wind creature on you. So I'm going to uh, pray for you so that you get delivered. And you prayed for me and immediately it just uh, it disappeared. So every time I go out now, I don't hear it. Who delivered you, Judith? Uh, Jesus Christ. Amen. Someone say hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thanks for sharing, Judith. Thank you. Uh, last night uh, in the break room, can you hear me? Yes, go ahead. Oh, uh, I was asking for prayer for my eye and for my wife and for my daughter. But while we were praying, uh, when they were praying for us, while you were conducting the meeting, I have to leave to the room to pray for my wife because... She had really bad pain on her jaws, and it will run all the way to the neck and to the head, and then it will go down to the back. So, so she called me, she screamed, so I went there and I was praying for her, 
and commanding the team to come out. And the lady uh, that was praying, she said, did you hear when Pastor Mark called out someone was having problems with their mouth or jaw or something? She said. Now, Lord, we pray for all those online in Jesus' name right now. That's the power of God going on you. Someone's teeth are being healed, rotting teeth. I'm telling you, I'm speaking to you. They're being healed. They're being healed. They're being filled by heaven. Heavenly dentistry right now. You, that's right. I'm talking to you. You are being healed, including your root canal. It's all being healed. Beautiful teeth in Jesus' name. And while we were praying down there because she was crying and really having this bad pain, all of a sudden this peace came on her and she stopped. And she told me the pain went away. Wow. So when the pain left, she was just like sitting there without moving and just feeling rested and well and, and, and peaceful. I mean, she, she was crying and, and having a, you know, a crazy, crazy uh, attack of pain. But all of a sudden that happened. After that, she laid down and came back here. And while we were so back in... Louis, Louis, was this uh, through the breakout room, was it? Yeah, yeah. and on the breakout, uh, breakout room, after the sisters were praying, my wife told me, while I was laying down on the bed, I felt something came over me, because she said that she still had a little bit of pain on the shoulder, on the back. She said something came over me, pulled down my covers, and the pain went away. Wow. Praise God. Who healed you guys? Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you both. God bless you. I am totally lit up, so full of joy. I mean, I spent yesterday and two weeks in bed sick with a digestive disorder that my photos I took of my stomach Look, six months pregnant. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Our, our, our sound guy is messing with the sound here. All right. Oh. Go. So you're two so weeks two weeks sick. So I, I have not slept for three hours every night. And last night, I slept for 10 hours. My stomach went down. I claimed total victory over gluten, over bioengineered food, genetically modified. That's not our portion. And now I'm lit up again, totally having a wonderful time. So I give God the glory. I'm so happy. Amen. So, Elena, what part of the meeting last night were you healed in? I was healed immediately when you said the glory was on me, and then you said abdomen. Now, Lord, we pray for all those online in Jesus' name right now. That's the power of God going on you. And power of God is going into someone's abdomen online right now. Be healed. You've got an intestinal problem. You, you get intestinal blockages. You're being healed. And I claimed it. I totally claimed it. I went to the back of the, of the, of the prayer as well. The, at the end, just because I wanted to cover everything. I wanted to go through everything. But I'm telling you, what I'm getting right now, woohoo! I'm on loss right now. <laughs> Who healed you, Elena? It is my Lord and my Savior. Elena, what advice would you give someone who's watching? What advice would you give them who they're sick, they've been sick for maybe weeks, what would you say yeah. to Do not believe the report of the doctor. Believe the report of the Lord. Go to the Lord because he created you. You know what the Lord said? You're fearfully and wonderfully made. Hello, fearfully and wonderfully made in his image. You're perfect. Nothing wrong, nothing broken, nothing missing. Hello. I'm lit up. <laughs> hey, Elena, have you thought about doing some social media platform preaching? Hey, I think you'd be great. Thank God, you. God bless. So you're feeling the power of God on you. Who are you? Who are you? 
Leng, we're going to pray for you. How did I know you were on page four? Huh? Hello, Leng. Hello. Uh, we know who Leng is. Uh, this man's fiance. How did how did we the Holy Spirit located you, Leng? You there? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. No, I'm still shocked. I'm still shocked. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah, I think. That's the power of God coming on you, Leng. That's the power of Jesus Christ coming on you right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone, lift up their hands and pray for Leng. Lord, touch her, touch her, Lord, touch her in Jesus' name. Power of God's going through you. See the power of God going through you. The mighty power of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. From the top of your head, flowing all the way down. Glory, glory, glory in Jesus' name. What's happening, Leng? Um, yeah, I can feel the power, the weight of his presence. So that, do you know what that power is doing? I'll tell you. That power is working on your soul. That power is restructuring your soul. You know that you heard the story of that man tonight who got a new heart. The Lord is working in it by his power on your soul, changing things. It is so complicated I would not be able to describe it what God is doing right now. Power of God is moving on your soul. Hallelujah. Hall oh, glory, glory. You feel that? What does that feel like? I, I don't know how I describe uh, You are like so yeah. many others. That's the oh, that's the power of God working on your soul. You're you're receiving soul surgery. You won't be the same after tonight, Ling. I promise you. I prophesy. I prophesy. When God works on, on us like that, He'll He'll take you to another level. Take you. He'll take you. You do things that you didn't think you'd ever do. God bless you. Hey, we got Kelson here. Come over here, Kelson. Come on, quickly. Everyone give Kelson a hand. What would you like to say to your fiance? Hi. There's a the camera there. Hi, I love you. <laughs> Praise God. She's embarrassed now. There's only four or five hundred people watching you. Hallelujah. God bless you, Leng. God located you. <laughs> Amen. I just pray for you, sir. Come. Come. Pray. Praise the Lord. What, what do you need Jesus to do for you? Uh, fix my lungs. And um, I have something called fibrosis, which is uncurable by... Uh, Glory. There's an angel present. An angel present. Angels carry the power of God. They bring the reverence, the reverence of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we command your lungs be healed. Sickness, come out. Sickness, I'm speaking to you. Come out.
You free, sir? What happened? Um, I don't know what to say. I just boom, and uh, boom. Come on, quickly, Sonny. Help him up. Sonny will help you up. Okay, take a deep breath. Tell me what's happening. I feel I can breathe. Breathing much better. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, Sonny. Let's go. Right. Just have some more, okay? Just take some more. Take some more. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Do you know him? He's my husband. How has this affected him? Oh, a lot. It, uh, it has affected him in his daily life. Um, there are a lot of things he can't do. Um, he used to love to go fishing. He can't go fishing anymore. He used to love to play golf. Oh, that's the power of God on him. What's his name again? Sorry. Edward. Edward. That's the power of God on you, Edward. Praise God. You know, sometimes I get them up too soon. <laughs> He's still having surgery. Bec so his lungs were badly damaged, right? So he's getting new lungs, new lungs. That's what I believe, yeah. I believe. Did he have a lot of coughing? Yes, a bit. His, his lungs are damaged. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Someone say, praise God. Praise God. Praise God. So, power of God's working. Power of God's working online, moving online, okay? Online. Someone's feeling the power of God moving on you. We're going to talk to you in a minute. Praise God. Praise God. Hello, sir. God loves you. Can we pray for you? Yes, please. Yeah. Yes, please. What's the problem? Parkinson's, Lyme disease, your spine, and your daughter. God loves you. Aragorn, is it? Yeah. yeah. Amen. Amen. Well, let's all pray for Aragorn. Just close your eyes, Aragorn. Do you believe that Jesus will do this? Yes. Parkinson, Lyme disease, spine. That's the power of God going into you, Aragorn. It's the mighty power of Jesus Christ going into you. Everyone pray. Mighty power of Jesus. Oh, that's power. That's power. That's glory. Lord, we believe that you heal him, Lord. Completely heal him. We take authority over his muscles and command the spirit of sickness. Sickness come out of his muscles, out of his legs come out in Jesus' mighty name. Legs be healed, be healed, be healed. We command the darkness come out of him. Come out of him. Come out of him. Lyme disease, come out of him. Back, be healed in Jesus' name. That's glory, Aragorn. What are you feeling? Weird presence. Sorry? A weird presence. A weird presence. That presence is precious. It's the pres presence of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It's power of God. So, uh, Scott, do you want to just come and continue to pray for him? It's power of God just on your muscles, through your body. This is Scott. He's going to pray for you gently. Just relax, Scott. There we go. There we go. Thank you, Lord. We're going to come back to you, okay? Um, I want you to put up your hand if you're feeling the power of God moving in your abdomen, in your torso, your abdomen. Just put up your hand what is happening, Elsina? My tummy is kind of um, cramping, 
Uh-huh. But before that, I was the lady who received um, healing spontaneously in Atlanta. You were standing right in front of me, and you said someone has pain in the lower abdomen. And I started to feel a sensation right there. Yeah. You feel a wind blowing, and the Holy Spirit's blowing like a wind in the room. Just stand if you feel a wind blowing over you right now. If you feel a wind. I just feel a cold wind at my back and my front and a loosening of like a tightening in my, in my gut and just a peace. So someone here, you've had tremendous spinal problems, spinal problems. Where are you? Pain from the neck down. Where are you? Quickly. Get... And the Holy Spirit just told me when you were ministering earlier to Zoom that testify that you did get your healing because it's like now I'm just eating so much. I'm enjoying the food. And <laughs> it's like... So the I Holy don't... Spirit located you so that you could tell us what good food you're eating. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the difference between before and after? Before it felt like... Um, right now I just feel like there's more that was, it was being done more towards my upper tummy. In Atlanta you were very specific. The lower pain was like a sharp pain that came and left. But I also knew there was stuff in the upper tummy. But right so, now I was like, please. Elsina, what's, what food could you not eat and what food can you eat? For one, I had peanut allergies. And I had other kind of intolerances. But I've been eating like any and everything now. And it's like my appetite is... I mean, I fast, I live a... Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, Elsina, um, if you're not careful... You'll have to contact my daughter, Sarah. She's good about calories, okay? <laughs> she can help you, okay? Bless you. Who healed you? Jesus did. Amen, amen. <laughs> A higher spiritual life. There is more. You can go beyond this natural world into the realm of Jesus Christ. The realm of Jesus Christ. You can walk, live in the Holy Spirit. So I want to talk about that. Are you ready? Okay. Praise God. This spiritual growth, this walk in the Spirit, you can, when I say spiritual growth, you can grow spiritually, you can grow academically. You can grow in your career. You can grow financially. You can grow spiritually. You can grow up into Ephesians chapter 4, into the fullness of the stature of Christ. You don't have to stay a baby on milk. Turn to your neighbor and say, you can grow up. Amen. Your spirit can grow. So that's what we want to talk about. Colossians 2.18, holding fast to the head. Who is the head of a church? Jesus. That's how you grow. Holding fast to the head. From whom all the body, that's you, and everyone who's watching online, nourished and knit together by joints and ligaments grows with the increase grows it once say grows with the increase that is from God so it's just let me repeat whom all the body nourished and knit together so one of the signs that someone their growth is stunted, they've got problems in their spiritual life, is that they cannot be knitted together with other Christians. There's something wrong and they are isolated. I know that there are many people who find it difficult to find an active church, but I'm not talking about the institutional church. They just can't fellowship with other Christians. There's something wrong. Something spiritually wrong. God has called us all into the body of Christ. 
So, this walk in the spirit is not airy fairy. It's not some just a spiritual experience. It is actually Jesus Christ. There is a realm, a dominion, a kingdom of heaven that is all around him. There is glory all around him. So when Jesus was on earth, people saw him physically. Okay, they... they and they, they said, well, we know who your mother and father are. We know who your brothers and sisters are. You're the carpenter's son. They knew him in the natural sense. But one day, Jesus went up on a mountain. He took Peter, John and James and he went up on the mountain to pray. And as he prayed, you could say the real Jesus was manifest. As he prayed, the appearance of his face was altered. His robe was white and glistening, just shining. And behold, two men talked with him who were Moses and Elijah, who appeared in glory. You're getting a glimpse here of who Jesus is now. When he was on earth, people just saw the physical. And Elijah and Moses appeared in glory. There is glory, like a glory cloud, all around Jesus. If you want to walk in the Spirit, the Holy Spirit and Jesus are one. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit are one. They're one. You have to be committed to Jesus Christ. And so they were kind of half asleep. And uh, it says they were heavy with sleep, Peter and uh, James and John. And when they were fully awake, they saw his, what does it say? Glory. They saw his glory. So if you become Jesus-focused, Jesus-centered, and surrender your life to him, then you can come into his glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so they talk about building tabernacles and somewhere. And he's, while he was saying this, a cloud came over and overshadowed them. And they were fearful as they entered the cloud. Everyone say, entered the cloud. Wow. You know there's a cloud in here? There's a cloud here? You know, in Azusa Street, the cloud was so intense that the children used to play hide-and-seek in the cloud of glory in Azusa Street. And they'd be on the floor and so on, playing in the cloud. And a cloud, and a voice came out of the cloud saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. So, so it's very simple. To walk in the spirit is to be a Jesus freak. It's to be Jesus-centered. It's to be Jesus-surrendered. It's to focus your heart on him, the God of glory. So there is a higher dimension. I want to talk about this higher dimension in the spirit of God. In Acts 17.28, it says, For in him we live and move and have our being. There is a place where you can live and move and have your being in him. Where you can give your spirit over to Christ. And you can be filled with his glory. Amen. There is a place and we're going to go there. Amen? We're going to go there. You must belong to Christ to walk in the Spirit. To walk, to live, to move in the Holy Spirit. You must belong to Christ. You must die 
to yourself and belong to him. The Bible says that the church has been purchased by the blood of Jesus. That means that we belong to him. You have been bought. You belonged to darkness and Satan, but he bought you with his blood. If you believe in Jesus Christ, you are his possession. To walk in the spirit is to knowingly walk your life as a possession of Jesus Christ. That you belong to him. You don't belong to anyone else. Jesus Christ is your master and you are his servant. And those who are Christ, Galatians 5.22, anyone belong to Christ in the room? And those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. The demonstration that you belong to Christ is that you live a life unto him in holiness. If you live in sin, you practice sin, you you chosen sin you've chosen a life of sin you're not demonstrating that you belong to him and those who are Christ who belong to Christ have crucified past tense the flesh with its passions and desires then it says if we live in the spirit let us also walk in the spirit so Paul is talking about those who have given themselves, who call themselves Christians, but have given themselves over to the flesh. And he's saying, if you are living in the Spirit, you have to walk the life of the Spirit. The Spirit of God is righteousness. He is the Spirit of righteousness. Okay. So there are two pathways. The pathway of the flesh is you choosing to do what you want to do with your life. You choosing what satisfies you. And there is the pathway of the Holy Spirit where you choose to obey the word of God and surrender in repentance. Basically, to, to, to live in the Spirit, to walk in the Spirit, you need to repent and believe in an ongoing way. You need to repent of your flesh, of sin, and you need to believe. Because to walk in the Spirit, you, it's not like walking in the natural. It takes faith. It takes faith. And to go deeper in the Spirit, you'll have to walk a deeper walk of faith. Your, your faith capacity will be challenged. Because the Holy Spirit will ask you to do things that don't seem possible in the natural or that don't seem reasonable to your mind. You with me? Because the Holy Spirit is, is not subject to this world. So he's in the heavenly realm and he's directing you according to the will of God. And you're like... My brain doesn't compute with that, you know. It's a different life. You're a citizen from above. You're under a different set of rules. That's why those who are led by the Spirit are not subject to the law. Because the law is something of this world. But we are subject and led by the Holy Spirit. So what seems to man to be, that's crazy, but God will direct a spirit-filled person in that way and you'll see the fruit of it because God's wisdom is greater than the wisdom of man. Galatians 5.16, I say then, walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust 
of the flesh. Now, the, the flesh is under most, most of, you know, when people are having problems with their flesh, they're under demonic temptation. The enemy, his primary spiritual warfare against you is your flesh. Jesus said to Peter, get behind me, Satan, for you do not have in mind the things of God. That's walking in the spirit. But the things of man. Satan has in mind your flesh. So the flesh is contrary to the Holy Spirit. We all have the flesh. and You've got to crucify it every day. And the devil and his demons are looking to tempt your flesh. Tempt your flesh. Because Satan is the father of sin. To get your flesh to enter into temptation, into agreement and to sin so that you can so that your fellowship with the Holy Spirit will be broken doesn't mean that you're no longer a child of God but when you enter into sin that fellowship is broken so for the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh and these are contrary to one another so it's not just your flesh that's contrary to the Holy Spirit, but it's your flesh that's being influenced by demons that's contrary to the Holy Spirit, so that you do not do the things that you wish. So someone, a Christian, who is demonically afflicted, whose flesh is being controlled by demons, they do things they don't want to be doing. And that's why they come to meetings like this. Because they can't stop their unforgiveness, their resentment. They can't stop their masturbating. They can't stop their porn. Their flesh is controlled and dominated by demons. And they can't walk in the spirit until they have freedom. They need to be delivered. So walking in the flesh is bondage. When you walk in the flesh and you walk in sin, you are a captive of the enemy to some extent because the enemy wants your flesh to do what it says. But you have the responsibility of killing your flesh, of dying to your flesh. Paul said, for I have been crucified with Christ. We all have that responsibility. Even if you're demonized, that demon is telling you, kill yourself. You still have a responsibility to resist the devil and to obey the word of God. It's a battle. And then when you get delivered, that evil spirit comes out of you and then the battle changes so that you now can walk in the spirit and have the power of the Holy Spirit to resist in a greater way. But those demons, they want to come back in. So you have to maintain, by God's grace, a life of righteousness. Am I making any sense? But if you are led by the Spirit, you can be led by the Holy Spirit. You can walk in the Spirit. Now, to be led by the Holy Spirit is a walk of faith. Now, the Word of God will direct your life. So you're walking by faith and God is driving your vehicle and you're asleep and he's driving because sleep is one symbol of faith. You are resting in him. You're trusting in him and he's leading you. You are like a leaf that's being blown by the Holy Spirit. You don't know where you're going. And Abraham went out not knowing where he was going. That's an example of being led by the Holy Spirit. Come on. I don't know where I'm going, Lord, but you're blowing me. Anyone relate? You can be led by the Holy Spirit. 
being led by the Holy Spirit is just trusting him. When we do these events, we don't know who's coming. We don't know what the Lord's going to do. In fact, I've told the story, but I was in an Aboriginal Indigenous church in Australia and I was waiting on God to tell me what he wanted to do in the service and he said, I'm not going to speak to you like that. I want you to seek my glory. And I said, Lord, do you want me to go into the meeting not knowing what's going on? Yes. That's being led by the Holy Spirit blindly. Come on. The servant of the Lord in Isaiah is deaf, mute, blind. And Jesus stooped down and he wrote, drew in the sand as if he didn't hear. He just trust in God. Amen. So walking in the spirit is a walk of absolute obedience to Jesus Christ. Absolute surrender to him. You have no personal life. You've given your life to him. Absolute obedience. So Philip, Philip, an angel comes to Philip and says, go into the desert. And so Philip goes into the desert. We're in Acts chapter 8, verse 26. The angel says to him, arise and go towards the south along the road which goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. This is desert. So he arose and went. Now, when you read through the rest, it would appear that he had no idea why he was going into the desert. Why on earth would you go into the desert? And behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority, under Candace, the queen of the Ethiopians, who had charge of all her treasury and had come to Jerusalem to worship, was returning. And sitting in his chariot, he was reading Isaiah the prophet. So Philip, I believe, had no idea why he was going into the desert. And there is one of the governing people, all right, who is in charge of all the money, okay, with Candace, the queen of the Ethiopians. And he's sitting there reading the book of Isaiah and wondering what Isaiah 53 means. And he's reading, Then the Spirit said to Philip, So now Philip's in the desert is wandering around i'm sure there's hardly anyone and suddenly he sees a chariot and there's a guy sitting in a chariot and the spirit says to philip go near overtake this chariot so philip ran to him and heard him reading the prophet isaiah and said do you understand what you're reading and he said how can i unless someone guides me and he asked philip to come up and sit with him wow you see you might have a ministry and the Holy Spirit might tell you to go and have your revival in the desert. And you go, well, there's no sound system out there, Lord. <laughs> there's no nice hotel. And there's no one out in the desert, Lord. But he's wiser than you are. If you want to walk in the Spirit, you have to give yourself over to him and let him guide you and direct you. And very probably... The gospel came to Ethiopia through that man. And so Philip, verse 35, Philip opened his mouth and beginning at this scripture, preached Jesus to him. So the Holy Spirit comes to bear witness to the gospel. So if you want to walk in the spirit, you have to be a gospel person. You have to love people and have a willingness to share the gospel with them. It's not about these airy-fairy spiritual experiences of goosebumps or whatever. You have to be Jesus-centered and gospel-centered. The Holy Spirit, well, the angel of the Lord sent Philip into the desert and the Holy Spirit told him to go and speak to this man so that he could preach the gospel to him. So, you know, why do you want the Holy Spirit? There was Simon the sorcerer in the book of Acts. And he said, give me this power 
so that when I lay hands on people, they will receive the Holy Spirit. And he got a severe rebuke because his heart was not right. And the apostle said, I see that your heart is full of bitterness and poison. Why do you want the Holy Spirit? He's a person who comes with power and he has a strategy. The gospel. He wants people to be delivered and healed and saved. He comes with a purpose. Why do you want him? Is it just so that you feel better? Or because it is more blessed to give than it is to receive? Freely you have received, and it's not, as you Americans say, period, full stop. Freely you have received, freely give. Turn to your neighbor and say, freely you have received. Freely give. It's not about you. Turn to your neighbor and say, it's not about you. And you will be baptized in the Holy Spirit. And you will be my witnesses. Amen. Praise God. So when they came up, because the, the eunuch got baptized in water, came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught Philip away. Now that's another dimension, isn't it? Caught him away so that the eunuch saw him no more and he went on his way rejoicing. But Philip was found at Azotus. And passing through, he preached in all the cities until he came to Caesarea. That's another dimension. Hallelujah. I tell you, there is another dimension. There is another dimension. So, how do we grow spiritually? Spiritual growth happens naturally. Naturally, when you, if you put a plant in soil, sun, water, fertilizer, whatever, it'll just grow. You know, you don't have to sit there all day talking to it, right? It'll just grow. The kingdom of God is this if a man should scatter seed on the ground and should sleep by night and rise by day, and the seed should sprout and grow. He himself does not know how. For the earth yields crops by itself, first the blade, then the head, after the full grain of the head. But when the grain ripens, immediately he puts it in the sickle, because the harvest has come. If you provide the right spiritual atmosphere, you will grow spiritually. It's not that hard. You will grow naturally. If you decide to die to your flesh, you decide that you belong to Christ, you decide you want to live for him, you want to obey him, you begin to do the right things, meditate in the word of God, prayer and fasting, seeking the Lord, you will fellowshipping with believers, spiritual disciplines, you'll begin to grow by faith. It'll happen. Praise God. And very importantly... You need to, impartation is important in the process. I long to be with you, Paul said, that I might impart to you some spiritual gift. If you are in a dead church, hello, that doesn't believe in the work of the Holy Spirit, that preaches dead doctrine, since cessationalism, that Jesus no longer heals and so on, you will restrict your spiritual growth. It will be like cancer to your spirit. You need to be in the right environment to grow. That's it. It's not hard. If you plant a plant in a rock, it's probably going to die. If you are planted in a rock, you're probably not going to grow. Okay? But you can grow, and it happens naturally if you just put yourself in good soil. Praise God. Amen. Jesus said, beware the leaven of the Pharisees. Uh, that's it. 
you know, you, you listen to all this stuff, all this teaching and preaching and stuff, and it's going to affect you. Beware of it. And the leaven of Herod. Anyone know what the leaven of Herod is? It's the government. The government tells you that, you know, same sex is fine. Relationships, you know, it tells you things that are contrary to the word of God. And if you listen to it, you believe it, you're never going to grow spiritually. And while I'm on the subject, I would counsel you, those who are listening online, you have children, be careful where you put your kids. Be careful of taking them to secular psychologists and counsellors who will counsel them that they're a woman in a man's body or whatever it is and that they need to change and, and all this stuff. You need to be careful what they're speaking into your children's heads. You with me? Now, so spiritual growth is something that naturally happens. If, if you died of the flesh and you, you associate, you know, with spirit-filled Christians and you're meditating on the Word, you'll just grow naturally. If you believe, you'll grow. And if you add more and more faith, you will grow. And you'll walk in the spirit, in the spirit realm. You need to sow the kingdom of God into your life. Some people, they're only, you know, it's all education and, and it's just about this world. But if you make an intentional decision that you will sow the kingdom of God into your life, the kingdom will take root and grow. You, you can make those choices. You can switch off the internet, if that's a bondage for you. You can switch off the television. You can switch off the girly magazines, the ladies' magazines, whatever it is, and you can switch on Jesus and make a choice. You can sow the kingdom of God in your life. You'll naturally grow. It's not hard. Praise God. So to walk in the Spirit is to believe for the impossible. It's to believe something that someone else, unseen, is telling you. The Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, instructing you to do things that seem impossible. There is another realm. I'm not talking about when you people hear voices and stuff, but I'm, I'm talking about genuine Holy Spirit leading. I'm, I'm talking about when you genuinely hear from God, nothing is impossible. Everything is easy. And for those who don't like me blowing into the microphone, God blew and created the stars. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your heart is the place where the Holy Spirit fellowships. If your heart has darkness of unforgiveness, resentment, jealousy, lust, the Holy Spirit cannot fellowship with you. You're still a child of God, but the fellowship is broken. Your heart is the connection point for God. Is your heart right with God? Let's pray. Because the sky is the limit if you cultivate your heart. Anything's possible. Anything's possible. You can have that fellowship with God by weeding out your heart of all unclean things. So right now, whatever it is, as the Holy Spirit comes and speaks to your heart about wrong attitudes. You know what they are. Perhaps you've believed lies that the government is giving you about same-sex. Oh, 
It's my, you know, you need to come back to the Word of God right now. Confess your sins, repent, turn to Christ. He has destiny for you. He has destiny for you. Greater things, greater things. Give him your life and he will give you abundant life. Give him your life. He will give you eternal life. Give him your life. He will give you divine, heavenly, good works. Destiny. Weed your heart. Weed it. All unforgiveness, bitterness. If you've been involved in the occult, in witchcraft, weed it out. If you've had your your hand, your palms read, if you've done tea leaf reading, if you've read the horoscopes, weed your heart of this evil. Weed your heart of it right now. Confess your sins. You haven't come to a healing service. You've come to a place where God wants your heart. He's the saviour, the sanctifier, the one who loves you, who wants that loving relationship with you that you might live in the Spirit, walk in the Spirit, and be led by the Holy Spirit. So, Lord, we confess our sins. Whatever it is, just confess it to him. May the blood of Jesus Christ cleanse your heart. Everyone say, may the blood of Jesus Christ cleanse my heart from all evil and sin right now. Heart, be cleansed. By the blood of Jesus Christ, be cleansed by the blood. I am free. I am no longer in bondage to sin. If the Son sets you free, I am free. Indeed, I am free. I am justified. I am righteous. The blood has cleansed me. I am no longer under condemnation. Greater is he that is within me than he that is within the world. I am healed. I am blessed. Shalom, peace, prosperity is mine. In Jesus' name, I declare it. I believe it by faith. I am his. He is mine. Jesus is all. Amen. Now, Lord, we pray for all those online in Jesus' name. Right now, that's the power of God going on you. Someone's teeth are being healed. Rotting teeth. I'm telling you, I'm speaking to you. They're being healed. They're being healed. They're being filled by heaven. Heavenly dentistry right now. You, that's right. I'm talking to you. You are being healed, including your root canal. It's all being healed. Beautiful teeth in Jesus' name. Power of God is going into someone's abdomen online right now. Be healed. You've got an intestinal problem. You, you get intestinal blockages. You're being healed. Someone with a brain problem, brain injuries are being healed. Brain problems are being healed. Praise God. I see a little girl. You've got ponytails. You've got little, what do you call them? Ponytails? Pigtails. Um, and you're about two years old. The power of God's coming into you. Probably the parents or someone is there. Power of God is coming on this little girl. In Jesus' name, be blessed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Someone, you've got fluid on your lungs, could have a heart problem, but fluid on your lungs, and you're going to, I'm seeing you coughing. It's coming out. It's all coming out. That evil spirit is coming out of you right now, and God, Jesus Christ, is standing before you, and he is delivering you and healing you. Someone with back problems, back problems, an old man, older man, let's call you an older man, you're in your 70s more or less, and the power of God is going through your back. All the deterioration of the spine is being healed. It's, that's right. 
power of God like fire is going through your spine, healing you right now. Deafness is being healed. Eye problems are being healed. Thank you, Lord. Someone's being baptized in fire and healed at the same time. There's a young person, young lady, and you've got mental torment. You've got demons that come to you. You're so aware of these demons. There's one demon particularly that you're petrified, you're so scared of. It's coming to you. Uh, The Holy Spirit is coming to you. Jesus is delivering you now. Those thoughts are coming out of your mind. Those voices, peace is coming into you right now. That's right, peace. Go ahead and vomit it all out. Peace is coming to you in Jesus' name. All God's people said, Amen. Amen. Ed, how's the lungs going? They're feeling a lot better, much better. What was that? They're feeling a lot better. Wow. Very much better. Ed, you're going to have to rewrite your placard. Currently it says terminal lung condition. Yes. It's now healed lung condition. Yes, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Go for a walk. Can you go for a walk, Ed? Go for a walk. Someone give Jesus a clap. <laughs> Trust in the Lord, for there's no other way. To be happy in Jesus than to trust in the Lord. How's that? Great, right? You know, and she, uh, she said that, you know, it was because I liked, loved fishing, but also I couldn't take the trash out. I couldn't even go to the curb. So it's, uh, it's an improvement. Thank the Lord. Amen. Where are you from? Uh, originally Venezuela. Okay, you don't sound Venezuelan. Praise God. Praise God. You want to stand up if you want prayer? It's affecting my kidneys. Sorry? It's affecting my kidneys and um, uh, everything. Diabetes. That's the power of God in you. It's the power of God moving, moving in your body. Like a cloud inside you. What does that feel like? Glory. Glory. believe you healed. Are you related? Huh? No. What's wrong with your lungs? I had a real bad infection and now the ribs hurt like crazy. Sorry? Sorry? What'd you say? I said I had a bad infection in my ribs. They hurt really, really bad. So your ribs hurt? Yeah. Like when I was singing. You believe? What? You believe that Jesus will heal you? Yes. Jesus. That's the power of God going through your torso. Thank you. Your chest. Your rib cage. So all the inflammation is coming out under the power of God. There it goes. Coming out. Loose yourself and come out. You're okay. Push your chest. Yeah, so it's better, yeah, because I... Someone shout, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I... So what was wrong? They were sore, and when I tried to, like, at home, I was praying in tongues and all that, 
hurting so on the, on the car on the way here I said I'm not gonna sing I'm not gonna do anything and I found the CD how's that <laughs> thank you Jesus <laughs> thank you Jesus he's laughing so no pain there praise the Lord that's the power I got on you that's the power I got on you touching you healing you we prayed for you in Seattle in where Seattle no I've been on zoom with you oh, zoom that's right Judy. I'm, I'm, I'm an intercessor what's wrong with your hip it's the hip going down to the knee You're right, go for a walk. Quick, quick walk. There you go. What's happening, Judy? It's all right. Hey? It's a little sore, but it's all right. What does all right mean? That means it's good. It's good? Yeah. Well, what's the soreness? It's, it's still right over here. A little bit sore. But the hip? The hip feels all right. Oh, it just cracked. <laughs> feels Price great gone, now. Hey? It feels good now. Well, okay, just go for another walk or whatever. Bye -bye. Just walking's fine for the moment. You can run tomorrow. Okay, come back. There you go. Thank you, Jesus. What's happening? Thank you, Jesus. What's happening? It means it's good. You can do better than that. It's good. Amen. Come on, give Jesus a big clap. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. What did you learn from this message today? Uh, you got to surrender all. Like, give, give my all to him. Let, let him be, be father and let me be childlike. So, let him lead my life. Amen. Amen. Is that what you want to do? Yes, sir. Praise God. God loves you, has a good destiny for you, Royal. Yeah. And this is? No, this is my, my friend. Uh, my friend. Okay. Okay. So you want to be doing ministry of some sort, do you? Yes, sir. Are you in a church? I'm in school. I'm a freshman in college. You're at college. Okay. So I want to encourage you, um, see if you can find a good church, okay? And serve with the youth. Help with the youth. All right? I think you'd make a great youth leader. Okay? How old are you? 19. Yeah, it's about time. Okay? Hold my hand. Coming back tomorrow night? Can you? Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Good. I want to pray for you again. All right? You got to take off your hat to this woman. What's your name? Edvin. 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 I mean. I appreciate every parent who comes who's got an autistic child and what it takes to bring the child and stay for hours in the meeting. Amen. Amen. So we just honour you and we honour your faith. Let's reach out our hands for this little boy. What's his name? Aaron. Aaron. Let's... Aaron. Sister, can you stand up? It's the glory on you. Just come over here for a moment, please. Do you feel the power I got on you yet? Yeah. Okay, no need to touch the boy. Just reach out your hand. Just reach out your hand. That's the power I got going through your hand. What does that feel like? Just get it. That's the power I got going through your hand. Lord Jesus, we cry out to you.
to you. We ask, Father, heal the boy. Lord, give peace in the house. We pray in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We command it out, out, out of him. In Jesus' name. Loose your hold. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we believe that this boy is healed. That is our prayer of faith. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can someone look after the boy? Sorry. <laughs> now, just stand behind her, Ash. Oh. What's that? No, I feel something. I... <laughs> oh. I feel something, sorry. You feel a bit dizzy? Yes, sir. You're being delivered. Come out. In Jesus' name. That's the power of God, Kathleen, on your knees. Yes, That's the power of God on your knees. Power of God on your knees. It's a deterioration of the knees. Power of God going through your knees. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, they're okay. Move your knees. Someone say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Pick them up. Pick them up. Pick them up. That's it. How's that? Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. How's your knees? Oh, they feel fine right now. <laughs> well, what does that feel like, James? I just want to go higher, higher in the spirit. I just feel his presence. Thank you. You know, the good thing is that spiritual growth is natural. Yes. Amen. What do you say? I say thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. God loves you all. Praise God. Can you just put your... What happened? I got hit by a car uh, while sitting down at the naval base and a car back to the, the passenger side of my car. It's around the beginning of the year. So it affected your brain, did it? Uh, like the back here and, and my neck. And, um, That's the power I got on you? That's the power I got on you, Jamaicas. That's the power I got going through you. I feel it just went down. Yeah, it just went down from my, my middle of my back straight down. That's the Lord healing you? That's glory. That's glory. Did you have trouble doing anything? Uh, I had knee pain for a while, and I was just real tired of sleeping. Okay, move your knees. The pain's gone. And your head is healed. Yes, I what, believe. What, what, was, what, what trouble did your head give you, your neck or whatever? I had headaches and like, uh, it's like tense, nagging pain, like in my neck. Good. Who healed you? Jesus. Someone give him glory. What are you crying for? I'm so happy. <laughs> You're so happy. Why are you happy? Oh, my knees are healed. <laughs> Spirit of preaching will come upon you. Spirit of preaching will come upon you. And prophecy. That's your muscular pain coming out, Phil. That's the muscular pain, anxiety. Be delivered. In Jesus' name. Amen. There you go. You're free. Amen. Move your muscles. Move them. Feels good. Hey? Feels good. Feels good. You had pain before, right? Yeah. Mainly back and shoulders. Move your shoulders. Like this. Yeah, they're, they're better. They're good. We already prayed for you, didn't we, Emma? We did. <laughs> Praise God. Show us your back now. Feels good. <laughs> oh, sorry. Feels good. Amen. 
Zach. Yes, have we met before? No, sir. No. What have you been doing that caused body pain and joint pain? Sports and just working out over the years. Uh, just kind of has gotten worse as I've gotten older. You ready to serve Jesus? Yes, sir. What are you going to do for him? Anything he needs me to do. Are you related? Yes, sir. This is, uh, this is my family. This is my sister and those are my parents. Oh, lovely. Praise God. God loves you. God loves you. Praise God. That's your joint pain, body pain coming out. Just close your eyes. Just give them your heart. Oh, that's good. Move, do something. Did you have pain? So just bending over, bending my Bend knees. Bend over. I've never. It's been well, do it again. I haven't been able to do that without pain in like ten years. Ten years. I think is this your mum? Is it? Give your mum a hug. You'll make us all cry, Zach. Hey, Zach, come up here for a moment. When you said that you'd do anything for Jesus, it opened the power of God coming down on you, healing you. When you said that, it pleased God. Keep going. Yes, sir. Praise Jesus. Thank you. Just enjoying the moment. Mm -hmm. just, through so much. Sorry? just been through so much to try to help him. And he just loves the Lord. He got radically saved last year. He was running, but God, he, he just showered his love on him and called him home. You coming back tomorrow night, Zach? Yes, sir. We believe you to be baptized in fire and overwhelmed. Hey, come here, Zach, for a moment. Do you mind just doing as you're told? Absolutely. Okay, just lightly, lightly put your right foot on his foot. Just lightly touch it. That's the power of God going through his arthritis. Okay, he's all right now. So move your legs, sir. What, oh, where, was, where was the pain? The pain was mainly in my hands. Can okay, move your hands? Sir, fine. Hey? Fine. Hey, Zach, are you listening? He had arthritis. He had arthritis in his hands. In my hands, yeah. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. You see, Zach, I thought he had problems with his legs, but God knew about the hands. <laughs> he, knows, he knows everything that we don't. So, anyway, I believe it's more tomorrow night. Okay, someone say praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Come on, Zach, you come and help me. <laughs> I'll just stay standing. Hey, I'll stay standing. Okay, praise God. What does this young man have? He's got breathing problems. So come over here. It's what's your name? Ezekiel. Ezekiel. What's wrong with your lungs? Uh, it doesn't matter. But God's healing it right now. That's the power of God. That's right. That's the power of God. So, Zach, Jesus is in heaven. So why look down at the devil? Amen? Look up. Do you know where Jesus looked when he fed the 5,000? He looked up. Your salvation is from above. 
Well, that's... We give you all glory. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. Okay, breathe, breathe. Deep breath. Deep breath. How's that? It's better. How's that? Better. What was it like before? Uh, it was just like getting all caught up. You're free. You're free. You can give a clap to Jesus. Yeah, absolutely. Amen. Did you want prayer? Just put your hand on the head. Hi, Pastor Mark. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Gabby. Oh, Gabby. Have we met before? Yes, in Texas. Yes, sir, about four or five years ago. So your mom? Yes, that's me. And then my mom, Esperanza. My nephew, Michael. Be baptized in the Holy Spirit and with fire. Who is she to you? This is these are family friends. Uh, they all they went to the same school that me and my sister did, and they also live in Opelousas, in the same neighborhood as us, actually. Okay. And then we've been family friends for a long time. So what's wrong with BK? He needs a job, does he? No, he has a very good job right now. Why does it say Just husband wisdom. job? Just wisdom. Wisdom. Um, his goal was to retire when he was 50, and he's just. He wants to and doesn't want to, and <laughs> yeah, I guess just wisdom for him. You see, we can't guess. We need the Holy Spirit to speak, because guessing doesn't bring bring what's needed for your husband. So, life is not about retiring. Life is about the will of God. So that's what he needs. To surrender to God's will. Okay? And I want to challenge BK. Is that his name? I want to challenge him. You can tell him. I want to challenge him to go on a mission trip. Go and serve God. Go for two weeks and leave his job or whatever and just serve God for two weeks and he'll get a, a different understanding mm -hmm. I challenge him okay ask him if he's up to it <laughs> from I'll me feel. okay okay <laughs> yes sir that's the power I got on you Ella <laughs> on your foot which foot is it that's the power I got on you stand here young man you're still good to do as you're told absolutely put your foot out like that just point it towards hers. That's right. Okay, you're okay. What did you feel happen? the glory of God on you Ella that's the glory of God on you that's your back pain being healed what does that feel like that was good come on you're okay come how's your foot it's kind of burning like it's hot your foot is hot yeah. Your back, bend over. I don't feel any pain. 
That's just Jesus healed you. That's the power I got on you. Claire, that's the power I got on you. That's the glory of God. That's the glory of God on you, Claire. There's another dimension. It's the dimension of Jesus. You've entered into that dimension. His mighty anointing that comes in love and draws you in power into his presence. What's that like? It's warm and peaceful and... I'm very hot right now. <laughs> Claire, Jesus Christ baptizes you in fire. Fire, God! Fire descending from heaven, intense burning fire, separating you, sanctifying you. You feel that? Mm -hmm. What does that feel like? It's very hot. It's on my elbows and my back and my knees. You know, they used to pass the gold and the silver through the fire to sanctify it. The fire sanctifies. The fire sets you apart, Ellen, for Jesus Christ. Don't look back. Keep going directly forward. Looking unto him. Amen. Praise God. What were you addicted of? Vaping. Who? Vaping. That's the vaping coming out. The spirit coming out of you. It's coming out. It's coming out. Anna, can I have a bucket bomb? Bomb. Coming out, it's coming out of you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Put your hand on your lungs. Come out. You're free. You're free. What did that feel like? <laughs> there was a very strong, like, tightness, and then it just, like, went away. Like, <laughs> Broke apart, went away, disintegrated. <laughs> Bend over, touch your toes. Where's the back pain? It's mostly whenever. Where is it? Lower back. It's gone. It is gone. <laughs> Bend over. Up. Hey. How is it? It's great. <laughs> amazing. God loves you. God loves you. How old are you? I'm 20. God loves you. So I believe the Lord's sending the right man for you, okay? You've been praying about it, okay? Just, just wait and be patient. He's coming, okay? What do you think about that? Praise God. <laughs> All right. He knows all about you. Why are you crying? Um, I'm always crying. <laughs> Where are your sons? Uh, two of them are at home right now with me, and one lives in New York. That's the power of God healing you. Power of God going through your neck. Stand there. Power of God going through your neck. So the power of God is on your disc, on the disc of the neck. Power of God's on the disc of the neck. 
Lord Jesus, we give you all the glory and the honor for what you are doing tonight. Healing, delivering people, baptizing them in fire. Lord, people encountering you. We just, oh, there it goes. Thank you. Okay, move your neck, Laurie. So do you feel the power in you yet? I don't feel it, but I well, see it. Sorry? I don't feel it, but I see it. What does it look like? People being healed by, by Jesus. You see him in natural? Yes, sir. But when you stretch out your arm, there's power. Come, ooh, it's strong. But you don't feel it. But I just come near you, I feel it. Wow. Wow, what else is wrong with you? A little bit of deterioration of the spine being healed. And that's your shoulders. Oh, they're okay. Move your shoulders. How's that? They were so stiff, and now I, they're not stiff anymore. Thank you, Lord. So, Zach, you carry what you don't know. You carry what you don't know. Now, that'll preach. <laughs> Most of the people here, they carry what they do not know. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. So this is you, Sarah. Mm -hmm. You married? Um, I was. Hmm? I was. Uh, I was just looking at your, your marriage and the anger, you know. Yeah, a lot. There's a lot of anger. Sometimes it got a bit too much. Yeah, yeah. Now my son, it's in my son too. And that's the Lord pulling the ADHD and the anger out of you, Sarah. Come out, come out, come out. I said come out. Now, come out. Out. Put your hand on your chest, Sarah. Out. Out. Out of a chest. Out. 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 You're free. What'd you feel happen? <sighs> oh, <I'm> just. <laughs> <laughs> Freedom. You're free, I believe, of ADHD, of being, getting, I don't know what you call it, but you used to get all energetic and focused on things and you're free of it. You've got peace. You've got peace. Peace. Now, Sarah, I want you to sleep well tonight and then tomorrow I want you to meditate on the word during the day, okay? Just meditate on the word, all right? And the Lord's touching your son. Okay, we believe for his healing. Okay? 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 Amen, yeah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord, for Curtis. Free. Had me bound. Come on, Sarah. Jesus set me free. Had me bound, but Jesus set me free. Glory, hallelujah. Set me. Switch it on to Sarah, please, the camera. I'm glad Jesus set me free. I'm so glad Jesus set me free. I'm so glad Jesus set me free. Glory, hallelujah. Jesus set me free. Turn it up a bit, please, Kelson. Come on, let's sing it, Sarah. Me bound. Jesus set me free. Sing had me bound, but Jesus set me free. Sing had 
me bow, but Jesus set me free, singing glory, hallelujah, Jesus set me free. What do you think of our new choir member over here, Sarah? Isn't she good? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Liz, take it. <laughs> you want to help, do you? I can. <laughs> What's wrong with your knee, Carly? Uh, it been hurting when I try to uh, run and uh, walk. Which knee is it? Right knee. Okay. What's your name? Emma. Emma, that's right. Do you want to help? I do. Okay. Put your foot gently on his. Okay, take your foot off. Move your knee. Feels a lot better. Praise God. Feels good. Hold your hand tight. That wasn't a hit. That was a Holy Spirit touch. Did you feel that? Yes, sir. It was more than just a tap, wasn't it? Yes, sir. He got hit. <laughs> What's happening? I feel joy. You like computer gaming? Yes, sir. God hates it. What are you going to choose, God or computer gaming? God. All right, give up your computer gaming. Amen? Amen. What do you want? My elbow. You want to pray for his elbow? Now, how did you pray for this one? Um, you stuck your foot on his yeah. foot. So the point of the question is, don't pray like you think you should pray. Pray as the Father leads. Okay? Touch, tap him. Give him a good tap. Now, there's your elbow. Move your elbow. How's that? Oh, my God. Oh. It's perfect. Your brain's thinking, I shouldn't hit him hard, right? You need to hit him harder. And his elbow gets healed. Got it. <laughs> this is Jonathan. What's your name? I'm Karen. Oh, uh, we met online. Yes. You yes. and your husband and all that? Yes, yes. Right. I think two or three times. Wow. <laughs> yes. Wow. So who's this? This is Jonathan. Let's all reach out our hands towards Jonathan. What's wrong with Jonathan? Uh, he has severe epilepsy, autism, Down syndrome. His liver is enlarged. Um, just everything. <laughs> Except he loves Jesus. <laughs> that's, that's the good thing. <laughs> Shall we pray for you, Jonathan? Yes. Yeah. Just hold on to him. That's anointing. Oh, going into your... oh boy. Do you feel that? <laughs> you feel that? Yes. <laughs> this holds a bit longer. mighty name of Jesus Christ come out come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Jonathan be free amen what's happening come what's happening just like quivering all over the place you're a little bit drunk <laughs> let's hold this for a moment dear, dear Jesus Go. 
God. <laughs> Where's the cancer, Linda? That's the power of God coming on the cancer. Power of God coming on the cancer. Power of God coming. Power of God's going through. Right, right side of your chest. Just lever. Just lever. Power of God going through the right side of your chest. Come out. Come out. Come out. It's coming out. It's coming out. It's coming out. You feel that in your right arm? Cancer's coming out of the right arm. I believe you're okay, Linda. That's what I believe. I believe. What happened? I can't explain it. I believe you're free. I see you free. Amanda. We've, we've met online or something? Yeah, it was a prayer helper during COVID. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, bless you. Welcome back. Thank you. Why have you got PTSD and trauma? Um, I struggle with older men, and whenever they get mad, um, my body has a trauma response. Be healed, Amanda. Thank you. Be healed. Power of God going through you. That's a glorious power, Amanda. That's glorious power delivering you. Delivering you. Wow. What does that feel like? It's like peaceful power. I can't explain it. <laughs> I was like, it may hurt. <laughs> That's glory, Amanda. Be healed. Be delivered, Amanda. There you go, you're free. Anointing. John and Liz. <laughs> We're twins. <laughs> hey? We're twins. Oh, yeah. We want to lead many to Jesus. Amen. Well, that's still the power God on you. <laughs> Jesus. Everyone say, More Lord. More Lord. Increase your power. Increase your love. Increase There's healing of the soul. You know, there's healing physically. There's healing of the soul as well. The damage that demons do. She's going to be fine. That's the glory. She's got glory of God. Amen. That's the glory coming down, Amanda. That's the glory. Hallelujah. Peace is flowing like a river. Flowing out through you and me, flowing out into the <laughs> desert. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> God, you're just so good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise you. What's happening, Amanda? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Doesn't sound like someone with PTSD and trauma, does it? Some people would doubt that you had that problem. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> One touch. <laughs> to get a touch from the Lord is so good. To get a touch from the Lord is so good. What do you want the Lord to do? Heal it. More importantly, I think. Emotional healing and deliverance from my family. Don't you believe God will do everything? Yes, He can do everything, but. Uh, you think you're getting too much to do? Uh, well, uh, no, there's nothing too great for God. That's the power of God coming down your back. Hey, Mum, with the boy. Come, can I talk to you? Now so this is the other boy. <laughs> That's power got on your back. Just bend over a little bit. It's power God coming. Oh, coming on your back. Coming on your back. Okay, up. Down. What's happening? What's happening? It's better. Uh, <laughs> so, what's happening? Uh, hey, way, way better. A little bit of nerve pain, but hey. <laughs> How long you had this problem? Oh, well, I've been dealing off and on probably eight years. Eight, at least eight years. Wow, Jesus is good, isn't he? Amen, yes. All right, come. What do you need from the Lord? There's many here that need more than I, like this fellow here, I came with him. Uh, the question is, what do you need from the Lord? I guess the same as everyone, uh, you know, purpose and uh, clear uh, guidance. So it seems to me that you lack confidence in life. Sure. Is that right or not? Fire. Yeah. Fire. So I'm looking at your soul Fire. and you lack confidence. Fire. You lack confidence. Fire. In the Fire. name of Jesus Fire. Christ, Fire. I speak to your soul and I command it to arise into that place of confidence to do the destiny and the works that God has called you to do. I speak to you, arise into your destiny. In Jesus' name, amen. So what's happening? I can smell. You can smell? Yes. Could you smell before? Very rarely. What do you smell? I smell a sweet perfume. That's, I feel whole again. You feel whole? Yes. Can you stand up? So how did this Parkinson, Lyme's disease affect your movement? I was not able to have a gait when I walked and had a very limp leg on my left side. My whole left side was going down. Okay, go for a walk. What's your name? Aragorn. Okay, off you go. Just go quickly, you're okay. Just go quickly, you're okay. Sunny.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All to die. Never again. Never again. I cut you off. Never again. Jesus. The same grace that heals a man of Lyme's disease and Parkinson can heal your finances and can supply all of your needs. The same grace. It's not a different grace. It's the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Can touch your finances in the same way it can heal a man and cause him to walk normally. Jesus, we give you all the praise for what you are doing. All the praise, all the glory. Isn't that awesome that he smelt perfume? Anna, what do you think about this? Uh, it's beautiful, beautiful, yeah. Is it worth traveling halfway around the world? Absolutely, yes, it's worth it. This man's life will be changed now. Going forward, he'll have a new, a new life. That's the power of God on you. That's the power of God on you. Thank you, Father, for perfect healing. For perfect healing. Perfect healing. In Jesus' name. Wow. Well, what's happening? Right now, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Get out. Process. You can't process it. Praise. Someone say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, I believe that's the power I got on your boy, Karen. Sorry. I believe that's. Oh, that's glory. I'm pulled between two places. Sonny, just put your hand there. That's the power I got on the boy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. What's, what's the problem? Diabetes. Why are you in a wheelchair? Neuropathy from diabetes. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Legs out. Legs out. The mighty name of Jesus. Power of God going through your back. Power of God going through. Oh, that's glory going through your back. Thank. Come on. Come on. Up. That's it. Off you go. Come. Come. Oh, to Jesus I surrender. Wow, what does that feel like? Feels good. Feels good. It's the furthest I've walked in a long Sorry? time. It's the furthest I've walked in a long time. How long's a long time? Uh, well, maybe eight or ten years. Come on, off you go. You're okay, you go. Off you go. Come on. You don't need my hand, off you go. Eighty-one years old, brother. Yeah, eighty-one years old. Eighty-one in a few months. You're a spring chicken. My mother's eighty-nine. <laughs> Got a lot to look forward to. I sing glory to your name, O Lord. Glory to your name, O Lord. For your name is great and greatly to be praised i sing praises to your name O lord praises to your name O lord 
Lord, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the, the Lord. Lord. I just love your love, the love that you have. You know, it's the love of Jesus. Mm -hmm. That's how you know that a person knows the Lord is because they have love. Yeah. So my, my mother know. says Christianity is love. Mm -hmm. And without love, you're not a Christian. Well, how do you know that you belong to the Lord? Because you love your brothers and sisters because God is love. Mm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Someone say hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Amen. I told you the best is yet to come. Amen. Amen. Come on. Don't go back in that wheelchair, okay? Okay. You just walk around, all right? Okay. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> the curse that's affecting a person can go into their wheelchair, into their crutches and so on. You pick that stuff up and you can come back into you. Praise the Lord. This lady's very, this lady's very sick, very, very sick. On the, really bad. Where's Sunny gone? So, Cindy, you're a proxy yes. for what's the person's yeah. name? Pat. Pat. For you're a proxy. That's the power of God going through Pat. Okay? Thank you, Lord. So, what's the problem? Parkinson's. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. What, what else is, is that it? Uh, we come from a Hindu family. So, it's been a lot of astrology and a lot of other things that he's not a believer but he can who are you to him i'm his daughter okay and you i'm her friend her friend okay thank you lord be healed be healed thank you lord thank you lord Okay, move your arms. That's right. Move your legs. <coughs> What's happening? I'm not able to balance. As I walk, I, I feel like tripping on one side. I'm we'll go for a walk, okay? Go for a walk. <coughs> How's that? Um, it's... It's very erratic. So sometimes he can walk, sometimes he trips, and he loses his balance. What's happening? I'm feeling I'm walking better. You're feeling you're walking better. Before, did you have problems? Yeah, I was losing my balance. I can't stay, but I can't walk properly without my tablets. Okay, so normally you, you feel like unstable. Yeah, I know. And now? I, I'm, I'm not able to say this, whether this is going to last, but I'm walking better. You're walking better, of course it's going to last. Off you go. Come. Off you go. Just for, as quickly as you want, just go. Yeah, uh, I, 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 it has to last for me to believe this. It is very surprising that what happens, my left foot drags. I'm not able to make proper movements, but I was walking fine. So you, your left foot drags, and now you're walking fine. I tend to stumble like this. Okay. And now? I'm not doing that. Hallelujah. So your daughter says you're Hindu, is that right? Hindu? Yeah. So I want to challenge you. If you go home and you're healed, to give your life to Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh, I, I will certainly, I'll tell you one thing. I had, I, I was a true devotee of Jesus Christ. Long back, I used to go to churches and he used to say, 
leave the la wine, lust and women and come back to me. I am waiting with my open arms. I don't know whether that's the day he's calling me back. Come back to me is what he's saying. Yes, come back to him. God loves you. Daughter, what do you think? He says that his left foot is no longer dragging. Uh, well, we came because we believed, so, yeah. So let's see you walk again and pick up both legs like this. Okay, off you go, like you're marching. Someone say, praise God. Lord. Cindy almost got run over. <laughs> praise the Lord. You ready to, excuse me. You ready to. <laughs> Just for a moment, I thank you. It's Jesus. You ready to give your heart to Jesus? He has been calling me. I don't deserve his love. He's been calling me for when I was 50, 25 years, he called me. Now I'm 60 years old. I've never been going back to him. But Are you ready to say yes to his call? Yeah, I say wholeheartedly, but I, he has to show me the way. For I feel I have a lot of things that I should give up to be, become worthy to go to him. I, I will want him, to, want him to show me the way. Jesus Christ died on the cross. He took your sin on the cross. You don't need to do anything. Just repent and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. I certainly do that. I certainly do that. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I repent. I repent. Of my sin. Of my sins. I believe in you. I believe in you. I need you to give me the inner strength to not go into the path of Satan and commit sins ever again. I need all the trust from you. Amen. I'm just going to pray for you once more. Your daughter's crying. Your daughter's crying. Why are you crying? Because I've been praying for his salvation more than his Parkinson's. God is good. How long has it been since you've been able to run? Look at the camera. I never can walk. Forget running. <laughs> Steve Russell, Pensacola has been a weekend of miracles. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. You keep following Jesus, all right? And your daughter will give you a Bible, okay? You'll find all about Jesus in the New Testament. He already had a deal. He said if he gets healed, he will believe. So it's already a deal. And so now he has to read the Bible. God bless you, sir. Okay. Fire is fire. Okay. Is the gut issue, is the gut issue healed? He played, prayed for that. Yesterday? Okay. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. The Spirit of God coming on you, Rosemary, right now. You should feel it. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, in Jesus' name, fire God. 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 Deeper sanctification and deeper holiness. Thank you, Lord. Fire God. Fire God. Fire God. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Lump in the breast? Okay. We, yeah, let's deal with that. Okay, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You want to, you want to put your hand or wherever? Where is that? Yeah, go ahead. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We cancel this right now. 
We cancel this in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I cut you off. I cut you off right now. You get out. You get out. You dissolve right now in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Cats power of God coming on you right now. Thank you, Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus. Everything off. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everything off. Everything off. You get out. You get out. You get out. You get out. You get out in Jesus' name. Everything out. Everything out. Everything out. Never again. You get out now. You bow. 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 To blow some air out. Bow. Everything out. Everything out. Everything out in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. That's the power of God going, into your, going through that right now in Jesus' name. It's going through it right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Get out. Get out. In the mighty name of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. That's the power flowing through you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Get off. Never come back. Never come back. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. I think it's done. Thank you, Lord. Ask this lady if she if she felt anything different. Yes. Do you, do you feel anything? Can you feel it? Where's the kid? Where's the camera guy? Oh. It's gone. Oh. So, so that you're, it's gone. Yes. No breathing's better too. So, I just said my breathing's bad out because I have anxiety, sinuses. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you. All the lumps gone. Yeah. Praise God. And, and, and your breathing. So how long did you have that lump? Uh, about ten years. I did. Years. I did. I did surgery before. I, I took it out and came back. Yeah, it's a lump. Okay, well, it's gone. Yeah, yeah. Well, praise God. Father, yeah. never again, never again, never again. In Jesus' name. Jesus just received. Never again. Never come back. Never come back. Thank you, Lord. And what was your breathing issue? Uh, anxiety. Exactly. And sinuses. Sinus. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you. How you breathe? Good. Clear? Mm -hmm. Clear. Never again, Lord. We thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Lord, I will.